Alright guys, and welcome back to another edition of Dark Souls, Prepare to Die Edition. So, last time, um, in between the last two episodes, or in between the last episode, sorry, uh, I did get a new gaming computer, and I upgraded to a, like a better uh, recording system. So now, the videos can, can be a longer than 15 minutes per each, and you should be able to hear both a better mic and a better computer audio quality so let's go and let me take my mouse out the screen there so I can't even remember where we were last time uh, I I think I did some unleavened or I did some uh, pretty cool leveling off screen don't worry about it guys it was great but as for the boss I think I didn't I didn't have time to deal with that yet in fact, I think what I was doing, I was, um, I was getting more souls for the, for my crossbow so that I could take out the boss pretty easily. Like, the, um, the Taurus Demon is actually pretty easy to deal with if you have enough crossbow bolts, I guess. So, uh, yeah, I'll get back to you guys when I have more of those crossbow bolts. Alright, guys, uh, I'm back. Back at you guys with the 69 exactly uh, of arrows. So, or bolts, I guess, I don't know. But, I think that should be enough, and if not, then I guess I should be able to finish him off with the good old sword here. But, I don't know. It's kind of risky. But, I spent enough time getting arrows already. Like, you guys don't know how long the skip between you know right now this segment and the last one was been playing for maybe a good hour I don't know maybe it's my poor choice of my poor choice of build a lot of a lot of veteran Dark Souls players will know that this is this is not one of the best I guess but I don't know I'm not one of them let's see <laughs> I've played through this game a lot but <laughs> I don't know, I wouldn't consider myself a pro because it's mostly just dumb luck or, you know, fumbling through the entire game. Oop. Okay, so first step, th these guys gotta go. Hey, my, my souls are still here from last time, I forgot. From like, when I got killed the first time. Okay, alright. So how many souls was it? Oh, gosh darn. Take a look at that. My soul count now is 8,100, or about. Okay, so, let's go. Oh, shoot, I forgot my, uh, my SS flask is completely empty. Okay, here we go. So, we gotta go here first. Uh, okay, 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 let's go. We got this right. Oh, shoot. Uh. Um. Oh, uh, no. Nope. Okay. He's gonna start jumping up in a minute. And wait until he jumps back down. Okay, let's go. This is such an exploit, but I mean, do what you can, right? Ooh, that takes a lot of health off him. Alright, let's just take, let's limit it to two shots each. Oh. Okay, don't be too high on the bar when he does that. Or else I'm going to take some damage. And I cannot afford to take damage right now. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, don't fall either. I think that's how I died last time, isn't it? Yeah, two shots seems to do it. And I think I bought more than enough heavy crossbow bolts for the job. Go on, boy. Come on down. Yeah. Alright. Let's go, next round. Bam. Ooh, that one took 75. I wonder why. Oh well. Looks like we'll be done faster than, than I thought we would on this one. Alright, come on. Jump on down, boy. La the first, my first playthrough of this, I didn't, th I didn't even try to think of exploits. So this was a real tough time for me. And once again, 
pro players will kind of scoff, like this is one of the easiest bosses and whatnot. But hey, it was my literal first time playing. Uh, let's come on. Wait, did that one not do any damage? Come on. I mean, I guess I got more than enough to do the job, but I'd I'd prefer it if I saved some some souls on the arrows that I bought or ugh, bolts. I don't know difference. What is the difference between an arrow and a bolt? Is it just one shorter? I don't know. Come on. Yeah. Okay. See, I'm sorry guys, this might not be the most interesting gameplay, but I'm, I'm gonna get it done. You know what I will. There's no way I could possibly fail here unless I like fall off the edge or something, which would be really dumb and would take a lot more play time than I already have. Come on. Come on. Alright. Cause see the first time I didn't even know that this that this upper platform existed. Oh shoot. I thought that you just had to fight him on the on the bridge and you know what? I did, and I actually won after like maybe a couple dozen tries or so. And after juicing up my armor to like the max point. But, then, uh, around my, my second playthrough, I found this thing, and I was like, wow, this is a lot better and easier. Yep. Alright, alright, alright. I don't know, should I try and risk it? I'm gonna try and risk it. Let's go. Come on, come up here, boy. Oh, shoot! Come on, come on, load it. Uh, I'm almost there. Oh shoot, that get that has a lot of range. This, uh, oh, he's straight in the middle now. Uh, oh shoot. Okay, all right, all right, I'm going down. I'm going down. Oh, oh, that was a lot of damage I just took. Oh, uh, okay, I cannot take another hit like that, and he's so close to being dead. Okay, alright, 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 done, done, done. Done with that. That was not a good risk to take, guys. I almost died that first hit he hit me with. Okay, come on, jump back down, and we'll finish this th the good old way <laughs> in exploits and cheating. Okay, wait. If they made the game like this, it's not cheating, okay? That is their choice to make the game like this. I think I can risk one more shot. Oh, shoot! He didn't take that shit! He didn't take that hit! Ah, he took that one, though. Right in the bum. Yeah! Alright. Didn't even have to use my sword. And I got a humanity. Let's go. Alright, so I think on this side of the panel, or whatever you call it, this castle, hold, keep, I don't know, there is uh, the dragon. I think that's the first thing that's going to pop out at me. As I think you guys saw in the very first episode. Or no, maybe the second, I don't know. I haven't been keeping track of my episode count. I don't have that good a memory. Ooh, there's something here. Uh, see, I always go into those corpses hoping to find something cool, like, you know, like a sword or something. But most of the time, it's just souls of the lost undeads or whatnot. Oh, this guy. This guy's cool. Yo, what's up, bro? Ah, hello. You don't look hollow, far from it. I am Soler of Astora, an adherent of the Lord of Sunlight. Now that I am undead, I have come to this great land, the birthplace of Lord Gwyn, 
to seek my very own son. You find that strange? Well, you should. No need to hide your reaction. I get that look all the time. What? What look? Like, this zombified <laughs> face? I think if you keep talking into him, he'll give you a good item. Oh, aha. So I didn't scare you. I well, I don't think. I know. I've been through this a couple times. I'll listen to your plight. The way I see it, our fates appear to be intertwined. In a land brimming with hollows, could that really be mere chance? So what do you say? Why not help one another on this lonely journey? Yes. Yes. This pleases me greatly. Well then, take this. Yeah. Yes. That's a very important item. Strange beings in a strange land. The flow of time itself is convoluted, with heroes centuries old phasing in and out. The very fabric wavers, and relations shift and obscure. Yeah. There's no telling how much longer your world and mine will remain in contact. See, I, I never got how that worked in terms of the actual semantics of it, but it's a cool game mechanic. Of course, we are not the only ones engaged in this. Once he's done talking, I'll explain it. Spot my summon signature easily by its brilliant aura. If you miss it, you must be blind. <laughs> okay. So basically, what that thing he just gave me is is a thing I can use to to summon other players who are like. To, to summon other players who are maybe further along the game than I am or something, and they can help me beat a boss or something, or just help me through an area or whatnot. <sighs> Man, but here's the thing, is that I think... Yeah, this is the part where I run out here and I get freaking torched by a by a dragon, and I have no healing items to, like, to not die from this. Unless... I use a humanity or something. Hmm. I mean, I guess I could just come back with more health. Cuz I need to I need to get to this part to get to the shortcut. All right, so I I'll I'll be right back with the shortcut. Okay, uh back here to the bridge with all my stuff. Uh just healed and I also leveled up a little bit. But since last time I was on the bridge, gave myself a little bit more health, just to try and attempt to survive this. What 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 comes next? I'll just tell you that. Okay, let's go. Oh, come on, dragon! Oh, oh, ow, 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 ow. Okay. Oh, okay. Wait. Before I go, I should use both of these just because I know I, I won't attempt a full surviving thing. Oh wow, he's just gonna let me pass? Because you're supposed to go here. Hmm. I wonder if this this time I should attempt a straight run to the middle of there. Because under that bridge that he's guarding, there's a. Uh, like. There's another campfire. Campfire. Bonfire, sorry. And also, with this here, it's a shortcut to where I just was. Yay. So now, I can just have a full loadout. So I just need to bait the... I just need to bait the dragon into torching all, all the other guys on the bridge. And then try and rush, I guess, all the way down? To the... Where it goes. Come on. You know that you wanted to torch me there. Yep, there. Yeah. Got him. Alright, let's go. Okay. Is it still there? Okay. So now. I don't even know. What do I do? <laughs> like, just rush, I guess. Should I... Uh, yeah, for this, I'll take off this, just to make myself lighter. Okay, go! Uh, run! Go, 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 go! Go! Oh my gosh. 
Whoa. Okay, good thing I took cover from that. Okay, is it done? Are you done now? Can I leave? Ah, uh, get off. What is it even doing? Okay, let me open this real quick. Uh, sir, are you done? I'm gonna. Oh, I can't light the bonfire now that he's here. Ugh. Okay. At least I know exactly where to go. I wonder if I could take. Okay. Just so that I can wait until this guy's done rampaging. I want to see if I can take this guy with my bare hands. Let's go. Come on. Oh, oh, you're about to get smashed in the back. Boom. Right in the butt. Bam. It'll probably take me a long time. Ow. Oh, ow. That was right in the face. Ouch. Bam. Right in the crotch. Oh, man. This, this is going to literally take forever. Come on, you know you wanna. Oh, that literally. Oh, the critical hit only does one damage each. I'm not even sure if I have enough time to actually equip my weapons now that I disequipped them for that dragon run. Oh. Oh yeah, here, I should have enough time to just equip... Okay, let's just get the dagger then. Finish off nice and quick. Alright, now the dragon should run away now, alright? Finally. Never to be seen again. I think. Well, he comes back, I think. But, at least for now, I won't have to deal with him until he comes back. And I got a claymore, although I don't think my character is strong enough to use one. Okay, now that that dirty business is out of the way. Light the bonfire. Very good. And now those guys are back, so don't make too much noise, I guess. And this is where you join the... The Warriors of Sunlight Guild. You know that guy that we met on the bridge earlier, the guy that talks about the sun and all that? That's who lets you join. And basically what you do there is you, you help other players instead of getting helped like with that soapstone I got earlier. And actually, anyways, for this episode I think that'll be it. So uh, I hope you guys watch the next one and uh, see you later I guess. Bye.